Alright, alright, alright. It is time for another episode of The Florencio Files. It's going to be a TVT. And offering in the top right hand side in the red. It is damn. Down here in the bottom left in the blue, it is Dankcraft. <laughs> Terran accidentally boxed three SCVs to build a depot. <laughs> oh no. Flow here. Depot starting almost on 16 supply. <laughs> Holy shit, Flow. <gasps> He's been improving so much, but there's still always like, maybe this replay is one of the earlier ones from the replay pack. Since this replay pack, I'm getting to the bottom of it and it's now what, a few months old, right? So maybe this was from the four or five months ago because it's like the beginning of that replay pack. But like, it's just, I'm like, that depot's starting 20 seconds late. <laughs> oh, I love it. There's going to be a TVT. Interesting to see what approach he has. The opponent has gone barracks into gas. He's going to be doing an SCV scout. One drilly boy walks right past the male. Karak. Do it again. Oh, he's going for a little walk. These guys make me think of cassowaries. Carrigs are fucking cool, man. Do it. <laughs> Where is the female one? Where is it? Does it need to get spotted before we can find it? Welcome to the Florencio Files. Today's episode, we go bird watching. Here, we find the female Karak, known for being very protective over its nest in springtime when its eggs are getting near hatching. The female Karak, also known for having a hideous core. Meanwhile, in the TVT, uh, Dem has been trapped inside. Now, Flo is on. A ton of minerals and then starts a factory on the other side of the map. Starts a reaper finally. This one drilly boy is like, Oh boy, where you think you're going? I got a, I got a surprise for you. Is it your drill? Because that's not much of a surprise. <laughs> Gets his face torn in half. Command center there. We've got a barracks into a factory in the main. So Dem here is like, yeah, it's fine. Oh my god, the reaper arrives literally before his reaper even pops out. This is just, just a testament to how tight Flo's builds are, but it ends up being almost bait because now the Reaper's trapped in here with you. Oh, 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 damn. You know you can't jump that way. You got to jump up here. Oh, no. Flo gets it. Nice. See, Flo's Reaper, 40 seconds late by design. Biggest brainus, man. Factory of the Tech Lab, a starport. Another Reaper's going to run on in here. That Reaper, though, he's just took some combat drugs. Ooh, I think he was like one hit point away from full life. Second Reaper's about to come out there. Uh-oh, Red Reaper's winning this fight. Red Reaper wins, but another Reaper comes out and says, no! Damn, that's gonna be a nasty way to go, dude. He dropped his gun. Bunker at the front. Not many units at home. A Hellion. Barracks of the reactor will finish. Can start marine production. How's it like? I mean, this is like a pretty good setup for the Red Terran. Dropping mules. Already has a third gas. The problem is, I don't think it dawns on this Red Terran that this is not what a base should look like. You, you get in there past three minutes, you're like, there's nothing in this base. But you know what? Florencio's a genius. He builds a bunker in front of him and immediately you go bunker. Bunker equals defensive. Therefore, you are being defensive. Eventually, he does think better of it and goes for a bit of a scouty scout. Uh-oh, Flo's got a tank. He's building Hellions after the tank, which makes no sense. I guess he was short on gas. Liberator as well. The Hellion's going to come out over there to try and see what's up. He's going to run into that siege tank. Viking and Cyclone on the way there. The bunker doesn't have anything in it just yet. He's building Reapers two at a time, which... Hey, they're better than Marines. They actually do pretty good damage. Just get those in the bunker and he's all good. Unfortunately for him, the Hellion does go far out front. Now that tank though is gonna start sieging things up, but it's in a bad position. If that Cyclone rallies over to the edge, it could pick it off from the high ground. It could also pick off the Reaper first, of course. We'll see exactly how he does this. There is a Viking on the way. That bunker, ooh, ooh, no repair on the bunker. 
Oh, damn. And the Reapers are just sitting in range. Okay, he does pull them back. And now the Liberator is here, but there's a Cyclone there. The Liberator's going to try and zone out that Cyclone. Oh, 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 oh. Not pulling any SCVs. Just two Reapers, a Hellion, and a Cyclone. Dem here. Oh, what a, what micro. That Cyclone. Dem shuts down the live with the Viking. The Cyclone kills the tank, kills the SCV. That Reaper, though, might turn things around. Oh. Ah. Oh, he's not building units. Dem's microing well, but his macro is absolutely fallen to shit. Finally, he cleans it up. That Cyclone's still very exposed on red hit points, though. Dem is so surprised. You can tell Dem's in the panic zone right now. Absolutely. This is that point where the, the, the goat kind of gets all rigid and stiffens up just before it falls over on its side as a defense mechanism. That kind of looks like what Dem's doing now, right? It's not really producing marines. It's building a reactor on the starport when there's a proxy right next to your base. You need units yesterday, mate. I mean, if, if, if keeps building marines and gets them in the bunker, I think is fine. Building a depot wall of very un, uh, unorthodox for this matchup is going to run forward, but has to be really careful. These are the only units keeping you alive right now and walks right into the proxy without looking at the army. Uh-oh, the Liberator says, uh, no, nope. Does take out those SCVs. The tanks chase, get the Viking as well. And Demir is absolutely panicking with how to deal with this. And look at that, that tank's very exposed. The Lib and the Viking come way too far forward. And you know what? Oh, Dem doesn't have vision. Scans does take out one of the tanks. That tank, though, I think might just barely be in lib range. No, it's just barely not. The Marines, though, rallying forward, Dem. Panic micro the Cyclone back and forwards. This tank needs to pull back. You gotta be careful. Oh, no. Look at it, that Liberator for Florencio. Inches what? It's still not in range. <laughs> Third Siege, lucky. Oh, oh, Dem, Dem, Dem. Oh, damn, damn, damn. Loses the Cyclone as well. Damn, this is... Oh my god, damn has so much money. If at any moment here, if Dem just took a deep breath, I think would have been fine, but... Dem is shitting the bed. 1,500 minerals, not spending. Keeps trying to build these bunkers, but has never repaired a single one of them. And is now having the natural evicted here. Florencio's proxy paying off in a big way. Demir is in trouble. And Flo has his own expansion up behind it. He's still down six workers. But there's turrets building inside the main. Oh my lord. That, yeah. And it's trying to build depots. Still no more production. Dem is in panic town. Oh my lord. Two Vikings going to come down. Very important. That cyclone for Flo though could turn things around a little bit. Liberator does fall. Ooh, nice Cyclone lock-on. We'll win that fight. Now, that Cyclone's lost high ground vision, which is very important. It means you could start to make your way out, but tanks only now start building. Dem needs to queue some shit up. Oh, my God. I think we've all been in that situation where your adrenaline's so high, you keep queuing, like, one unit at the time. It's like, you have so much money. Queue everything. Are you... No. Oh, my God. A tank and a Cyclone just killed the command center. Oh, Florencio. You know what? I used to actually, when I was learning Terran, I used this sort of build a lot. Proxy Factory, Proxy Starport. And the reason is I found that as I started playing better players, they really should always be able to hold it. But then I kept doing it for a while longer. And what I found was even players who are in a winning position were often, when they're on the defensive against this sort of surprise rush in TVT, they will do what we call shitting the bed where all they need to do is a few basic steps, but instead they panic and they fucking walk into your units. And you go, oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll take it, I guess. <laughs> and you're like, oh, all right. I, I thought I thought this had been held, honestly, but uh, there's something about having tanks slowly encroaching on your position that makes people absolutely brain damage. Why would you go out there? <laughs> I think he thought Florencio retreated, but Flo had only pulled back. At no, what are you doing, Dem? What is this absolute disaster that you call micro, mate? <laughs> oh, this is kind of hard. Oh my god, the tank of Flo walks through the lib zone. Finally, finally defended, but not until Flo has macroed up a full extra base of workers that are all fapping in the corner. Florencio is literally the only boss who is okay with everyone having not just a smoke break, this is a vape break, and only if it's the devil's cabbage. You know, this is this is 100%. He's like, it's okay, guys. Nah, like, you gotta be relaxed to work your best, man. Dude, like, drilling feels a lot better after you've uh, had a bit of a vape, right? Yeah, yeah, man. That's all good. 
those guys literally just got paid for like a month's work for fucking watching YouTube videos and smoking together. Jesus Christ. Meanwhile, Florencio, the master of his push failing and then still being super fucking annoying with a single cyclone. <laughs> How many times have we seen him do this? First players of every race, you think they've got they've got rid of the proxy push, and then these cyclones just keep coming in and like picking off a unit and running away. And it's like, yes, Florencio's floating 1200 minerals while he does it, but it is absolutely triggering his opponent. And let's remember that's all Florencio ever cares about. And look, once again, think they've held, think they've held. Watch this cyclone pick a Viking up here. He's so fucking annoying! <laughs> He's <laughs> he's such a dickhead to play. He gets the cyclone, locks onto the Viking. Oh my god! I'm telling you, he just he's there. To, he just wants to push his opponent's buttons. He just wants to push his buttons. That's all he wants to do. He lets his people smoke jazz cabbage while he ruins his his opponent's life all day. That's all he wants to do. Remember, guys. Some people think it's all about winning. Competition's about winning. You gotta believe you can win. You gotta believe you can be the champion. If Florencio had one of those speeches, like one of those Arnold motivational speeches, they would all just be like, you need to believe that your opponent can't just lose the game. He can't just lose. He can lose, but only if he loses the will to live. If you defeat your opponent, but after that game, he reinstalls. He clicks Q ranked game again. If you have not destroyed his will to live, if his keyboard is unharmed at the end of that game, you have not really won. You have to believe that you can take the soul out of your opponent's body. You need to believe that you can eradicate their will to live. You need to make them close that game. Alt fucking F4, no GG, and they need to uninstall. You need to believe that you are not just the bringer a victory, but you are the taker away of the StarCraft 2 population. You need to be the person who destroys your opponent's will to live with fucking, what is this? Uh, that would give, someone attacked me with this. Yes, that would destroy my will to live. It's fucking stupid. What are we looking at right now? What am I looking? It's a fucking Marine centipede attack at 12 minutes. Uh, no combat shields, just stim packs. That's all we need. I told you guys, it's not just the jazz cabbage that he hooks up his troops with. He's like, you guys also get some methamphetamines. Let's go. <laughs> Make sure you take it just before battle so you can pull the triggers faster. I'm like, okay. They're going to all shoot up over here for a little bit, waiting for the right moment. Uh, they're all scratching at sores on their arms and shit. Jesus Christ. Um, still no combat shields on the way, of course, because it's Florencio. I've never really seen him go to Marines this early. Normally it's like, Unupgraded Marines, maybe with only Stimpak, but it's normally at the 17 minute mark. He's done it a lot earlier. No, you're kidding me. Opportunity. Flo's not watching. They're too busy, dude. They're too, they're too fucked up. They're too fucked up, dude. He looks back. He's like, did we just see something over here? God. Fucking Flo. He could have just killed eight Vikings for free. Uh, anyways, he does have a lot of Marines in the main. So the Vikings aren't really going to be able to do much. Oh, oh, he does know they're there. Okay. Sends a few marines. Uh-oh, Vikings are in trouble. And he's thinking of coming in here. Okay, goes for the siege sack, takes it out. Oh my god. It's a 20 kill planetary, just killed 20 marines. He got a siege tank, and I believe it was like four or five SCVs. Um, a worthy trade. Ah, see your death, they said. Join Florencio's army, they said. <laughs> Almost guaranteed to be thrown away in a meaningless engagement that's more about pissing your opponent off than actually securing the victory. Hmm. Well, of course, the follow-up is two battlecruisers in the corner of the map. He's making ghosts. I think he's realized Marines might not be a spirit animal. Remember, Florencio did make that tweet about the fact that he, he doesn't, you know, I believe his, his exact words, I referenced this the other day, but his exact words, um, or the term he said was, you know, I, I respect upgrades. I appreciate their true power. I only use them, you know, when I need to and when there's a purpose to use upgrades. I don't just get all these upgrades, you know. There's people out there who are always casting their minds around. They want to find a different 
tool. They're always looking for a new weapon to find victory. But that's so much easier than tightening your fist. And I was like, ooh, some fucking deep, deep philosophy around uh, the man who still hasn't found the hotkey for warp gate uh, and doesn't actually know what combat shield is. Um, yes, I've seen people try to coach Florencio before. He's unironically asked them, like, whenever you say any upgrade name, doesn't matter what one it is, he doesn't know what it is. Like, you'd be like, oh yeah, Yamato, do you get Yamato? He's like, who's that? And you'd be like, what the fuck? And he's like, no, like, is that a friend of yours? It sounds like a Japanese name. And you're like, you don't know what Yamato is? That's one of the few upgrades you actually make, dude. What the fuck? And he's like, huh? And you're like, the battle crew is a big explodey gun? He's like, oh, of course. You should have just said the battle crew is a big explodey gun. I know that one. That's a great one. Always worth getting the battle crew is a big explodey gun. I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ. I'm not even sure he knows how to read, guys. Florencio is honestly, I don't know if he's a wizard, a maniac, illiterate, or genius. <laughs> Gets a tank and a pack of STVs, a couple of turrets, not bad. I, I, I don't know. I still don't know. Everything's up in the air, guys. I mean, he runs a science school. I, I don't really know if it's the same definition of science as, as, as might be used in a regular university. But, uh, you know, he's, he's, he's definitely a unique character and he's definitely got a unique approach to the game. Still 17 Marines just hanging out over here, waiting for the opponent to step into their territory. Thank you, Maynard, for the big old raid. Hope you had a great stream, mate. Much love, dude. <laughs> All right, we're on Dem's camera. Can he find it? Okay, that time he gets it. That time he gets it. Our Dem here is trying to go mass air. Battle cruisers and is actually getting upgrades for them. Has plus one armor, is getting plus one ship weapons. Doesn't have the greatest economy, but making actual upgraded Viking battle cruiser. This is a bloody nightmare for Florencio's battle cruisers, which he refuses to get armor or attack upgrades. He's still on zero zero. Ooh, these marines are gonna maybe catch that SCV in transfer. If they move over there, they could kill that base. They're not even on the watchtower though. <laughs> ah, level. The cyclones though are gonna dick air units. Wait, wait, there's no tanks except back in the base. You desperately need tanks to deal with cyclones. Oh my god, is it just gonna be Vikings, battle cruisers, and aliens getting smashed by mass cy I think Flo, upon seeing the battle cruisers and the air units. Was just like, oh, that's cool. I'll just make like a, a billion of these. Marines finally find this expansion on the right hand side. Cyclones and Marines running up to the top. What is about to. Oh, Flo would love to bypass this army and get a base trade, wouldn't he? He would love to. This Terran's like, wait a second. Doesn't. Oh my god, he didn't attack move. He's right clicking. The Terran is right clicking. Okay, he did attack move finally. The Raven goes down. The Marines take out a Raven and a turret. Seems like a good fight for Dem, but up in the top left. Oh my god. He does five big explodey guns on the planetary fortress, manages to take that out, and instantly runs away. He goes, ha 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 He's going to try and hide up in the corner of the map. We've got more ghosts on the way. We've got a nuke waiting in that ghost academy. There's a few more bases up right now for Florencio, but he's not using them just yet. Given a bit more time, though, he absolutely will. Hellbat's a single cyclone here for Dem. He's, of course, 1-1 one, one upgrades. The air units are better. If the battle cruisers can get on top of the cyclones, they'll do just fine. But they don't even have Yamato. And oh, these cyclones. They're kind of trapped in a corner, man. Florencio. Oh, no. He does get quite a few of the Vikings, but he loses a lot of cyclones. He will lose that starport. The battle cruisers, of course, teleport to the other side. Their big explodey gun is still about 20 seconds away from being cooled down. They are going to take out the SCVs. That planetary will survive for the moment, but as he moves back over the top, that planetary should go down nicely done here by Flo. Knocks his opponent back down to two bases. Remember, there is a new command center, but it's not quite there yet. And Dem here running around the top of the map. Not going home, which means these battle cruisers are going to wreak havoc. They're going to continue to move through. They're going to smash shit up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, the orbital. It goes down. Hot damn. Okay, okay, Dem, you gotta get a move on, dude. You can't just... This base even ran away. He didn't even snipe the base. Dem is in huge trouble. There's nothing that shoots up at home. He's trying to build some Thors. They're not gonna cut it. There's Cyclones, tanks, a defensive nuke. You're kidding me. There's no way. There's no way. That's so fucking obvious. 
There is no way that works. These cyclones get caught on the outside. Two tanks on the high ground doing quite well. There's a bunker there. There's turrets. There's more cyclones. Then you clips a few of their hellbats, but mostly avoided there. Battlecruisers dive on the production. Remember, Dem does not have Yamato, and these BCs are going to teleport home. But there's still Vikings there. Ooh, you, oh, he's used his Yamato already, actually, on the on the, the orbitals. He's trying to mass repair to make up for this. Lots of SCVs trying to repair. Those ones going to repair a tank. You morons! Keep the battlecruisers alive! Order repairing SCVs and not cutting it. And I think Flo might actually be done. The 1-1 one, one battlecruisers. Just too many of them out of Dem here. Oh, he needed more turrets, more cyclones. He's trying to build some Widowmaker. Why are you leaving? Why are you leaving? Why are you chasing a tank? Get on the production, win the game! You more? No. Why? You are on top of the production. What are you doing? Get back down. <laughs> Widow Mines. Widow Mines. The Vikings are gone. A big one. Two big ones land on the battlecruisers. Oh my god, the turrets kill two battlecruisers. Oh my... No, there's no way. Surely there's no, there's no mining behind this for death. If Florencio, he's still got mining fully on his third. He's got a lot of turrets going up. Those turrets are even doing a bit of a fight there. Remember, he doesn't actually have building armor or high sec auto tracking yet this game. Seven battle cruisers. The Terran is not mining at all. He desperately should be dropping mules and building SCVs behind us. That would secure the victory. But this Terran is just focused on trying to win in this singular way. Still has not made Yamato for the battle cruisers. And there's more Widow Mines. Uh, Battle Cruiser's air to surface battery is six range. You can outrange the Widow Mines, which only have five range lock on, but you've got to scan them. Ooh, big Widow Mine. Those Battle Cruisers are bruised, mate. There's more buildings everywhere. Barracks, factory. Oh, he didn't rebuild any starports. He's just trying to build Marines right now as flow, which is a bit of a problem. Ghosts come in though, and oh, they're going to try and see what the deal. There are no nukes left though. The Ghost Academies go down, but look at that. SCV starting to take damage. The battle cruisers are going to start to get close to supply blocking flow as they work through all those depots. And look at that. The lib is there. Oh, the tank on the high ground taking out the ghosts. The ghosts are trying to get to safety. And that one will still survive. The battle cruisers are going to continue to fly through these bases, refineries, barracks, everything getting cleaved through. It's going to be a long path to rebuilding here for flow. So as long as Dem just consistently works the way through the base, it should be good. There's still no mules dropping, despite there being two orbitals. There's still no SCVs building. Dem is just staring at the battle cruisers, but there's so many bases, you've got to go clear out. Dem has not been scouting, doesn't know about this base to the bottom. And there are tech lab factories on the way. Of course, without Yamato, Cyclones with Magfield are literally unkillable by battle cruisers. A single battle cruiser heads home, but why? You're not even building SCVs or mining. EMPs! He EMPs to stop him being able to scan more with that. And then he runs out of scan range, forces another scan to be used. That's no mules for you, buddy, even if you wanted to. Marines are going to run in here. Florencio realizes if he can keep hitting the economy, he can make sure his opponent's all in. If he just gets a few cyclones out of these factories, keeps building turrets and so on, he'll be in a good spot. Marines run into that base. Tanks and Thors on the high ground, unable to defend it. Dem is going to lose a command center. I cannot believe it. No! He doesn't lose it, but he forces every battle cruiser home. Dem only now starts three SCVs at once. Once again, I feel like Dem has made some good decisions, but holy shit, if you've ever seen a player freeze up under pressure, it is this guy. What is this SCV doing? He's running down to the bottom right for some reason. He's desperately got to start dropping mules, and he is now finally doing it. Meanwhile, what do we got? Cyclones or Thors? I think he's going to go Thors. He's waiting for the armory. Four factories with tech labs. Thors do beat battle cruisers, even with the battle cruisers having 1 1. Thors will do okay there. Flo's actually very low on money right now. Desperately needs to get these SCVs to stop long distance mining and start mining minerals on these bases, especially this base here is not really using it. This base as well. Dem, I still think, should win this game. If Dem at any moment flies across the map with the giant fleet, or even part of it, you've got tack jump, it's no risk could come in, even without Yamato, ignoring that base. This base has literally no defense. It's only getting turrets started now. There's no way this production, these depots, could be allowed to stand. You kill even a few depots, Flo can't build units anymore. Instead, Dem right now has got two Drilly Boys who are slowly just stroking the Battlecruiser's undercarriages back to full health. Now, I get it. They, they, they feel important when they've got their little, little massage going on from these two Drilly Boys. 
but what are you actually focusing on right now, Dem? You have this game in the bag, mate. You're going to build one Hellion? Is that the answer to victory? <laughs> Valencia has just done enough to frigging brain hemorrhage Dem. And Dem doesn't know about I think Dem thinks it's just that base and is like, oh, it's fine. It's only a few minerals there. No! What are you doing? I, I would love to know what Dem's doing. Building two SCVs at a time. And just waiting for two SCVs to slowly repair every battle cruiser. Oh my god. There's already a Thor route. Three, uh, two Thors on the way. A third one trying to build, but his supply blocked right now. Florencio, of course, has not realized he's supply blocked. Because he is the man of 30 to 40 seconds supply blocks. Another marine run by ready to jump in there. Ooh, that's a really smart move. As soon as he sees the enemy's army on the map, those marines are going to run in and do a bunch of damage. Finally starts a depot there. Flow here, low economy situation, man. He's going to try and just rebuild that economy. 48 SCVs. This is what always happens in Flow's games. He, as a Terran, has learned to never stop building his economy. I don't even know how he, he knows to go in here. He's like, oh, we should just run in and see if we can find something. And it's just after the PCs all left. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Get over there. Get over there. The Thors and the Hellions. <laughs> they let all the SCVs get killed. I feel like Flo could even get the command center, maybe. But no, he's going to back off for now. He pulls every BC home. And his Thor count continues to grow. I cannot believe he gets away with this. This is... Seriously. Honestly, Florencio is that cat. You throw off a fucking skyscraper. It spins through the air, lands on its feet, and just walks off casually. Like, the shit that he survives... It's insane. Those marines did a brilliant job. He's going to build a new barracks in the top left so that he can build run buys from up there. Uh, re Mass Thor on the way. Planetary on this base rather than orbital when he's only on 12 SCVs. And once again, the entire army is just running around in a big clump. Now, those two Thors are actually going to add a lot here. No, Yamato, though. Dude, Yamato would annihilate these Thors so badly. You throw two Yamatos on each Thor, bam, four of them are dead just like that. Oh, Dem. And once again, Dem, no scouting ever ahead of the army. It's always grab the army and just run it through areas with no idea of what you're going into. No checking around the corners or the edges. No scouting ahead of a Hellion or a scan for that vision. <laughs> That turret's getting quite a bit of damage in there. Flo, I think, just target fired that as well. Battle Cruiser takes a lot of damage. The Thors are coming over here. How many Thors are there? Only five. Dude, where are those Widow Mines? They're up there. Without those Widow Mines to help, I think Flo should be on the other side of this planetary. I don't think he should be out front like that. Flo's looking mighty exposed. He takes down one Battle Cruiser and they, they teleport home? Leaving his Thors and his, his Hellbats, he just runs away. A single Thor backstab just scared the shit out of Dem. And Dem once again shits his pants and runs home. I have never seen a more cowardly Terran in my life. Honestly, he is so afraid of winning. He is so afraid of winning. That was a, a winning fight. The Thors were out front with no support. He could have flown over them, even without Yamato, and gunned them all down. Instead, he loses a battle cruiser and all of his helmets and teleports home. I cannot believe the absolute tenacity to just find a way to continue avoiding to catch the ball. This is that point. You throw it. You ever had a kid you're trying to teach it how to catch? You throw it a tennis ball. It fucking can't catch it. So you get like a bigger ball and then a bigger, softer ball. Eventually, you end up with like a beach ball sized thing that is so light that it like floats slowly through the air. And I feel like we're at that point. That's what Flo's been doing to them. He's kind of like, would you like to maybe win the game? And he like kind of throws it and it like floats through the air. And Dem's just like, oh, I missed it. You're like, what are you, stop. Why are you making plus two vehicle plating and a new tech lab on a factory? You've got like six tech labs. How are these the priorities in this situation? Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna build another command center. Now we're gonna start rebuilding SCVs, which we haven't done at all or prioritized in the last five minutes. Oh, uh, when you're under pressure, you make some horrendous decisions in StarCraft. And when there happens to be a sewer mermaid on the other side of the game... Oh, no! Did you not hear the alert? Oh, my God. Oh, so many SCVs. Look at this guy. Just walks right past the RV. He's like, see you, dickheads. Oh, no. And that's... Wait, wait. This command center doesn't get cancelled? No! He loses the command center in construction as well. 
Oh my god, look at this ghost. This ghost comes in cloaked, kills that liberator. Oh my god, no scans, right? He's got to land that to get scans. Oh my god. So Florencio, how would you summarize your strategy in StarCraft? He's like, oh, I want my opponent to feel at all times like someone has just run up behind them and just slapped them behind the air. You're like, what? He's like, yeah, that's that's like the whole style. And you're like, what? So you just want to piss them off? He's like, yeah, they do really dumb shit if I piss them off at all. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, cool. And and then you try to secure the victory with just like a quick brutal move after that. He's like, oh no, no. Then I then I play with them. And I'm like, what? Why wouldn't you just win? He's like, eh. It's not about winning. <laughs> It's about destroying their will to live. Look at this nuke. Who nukes like that? What are you nuking right now? What is he? I don't... Does anyone understand what that nuke's meant to do? He's like, oh, I need to kill the refinery and the reactor factory because he could build widow mines right now, which are the answer to my Thors. I'm like, none of that made sense. Um, <laughs> He's maxing out on Thors, man. He's got, he's got 10 Thors. He's built depots. He's going to build more. Meanwhile, Dem's progression is like, build a random add-on. Make two SCVs. Make a random upgrade. Fly across the map. As I arrive at the other side of the map, make sure I shit my pants and teleport everything home right when I'm about to win. Um, that turret's gonna finish. I think that ghost died, surely. He scanned. You scanned the ghost, he's right there. He's right there. He's right there. Just attack move. <laughs> this Terran's broken. He's so broken. He's just, there's nothing left for him to live for. He's mentally done. He's done. He's finally going to fight. His army, in the last 10 minutes, he's added three Thors. Well, Florencio takes a pretty fucking terrible angle and actually gets wrecked anyway. Flo's still going to lose the game. No, you're kidding me. Those Thors all attacking there were all stuck behind each other. That tank did massive damage from behind. And he didn't focus fire. He wasn't killing the BCs. He damaged a lot of them. He only killed two or three of the BCs. This is insane. All right. Uh, Flo here is trying to bring it together. I just... I, I, he gets one BC. Can he get another? He gets, he gets a second. He gets a second. Can he get a third? He gets a third. Three BCs down. Only one remaining. Only one BC remaining. He's nuking behind this at the same time. He's nuking that base as well. You know what? There's not that much left there. And one of the last mining bases here for Dem loses all of its workers. There is still one base mining there. That planetary is definitely in trouble. Remember, this base is mining. This base is mining. If Flo loses those, he is probably in big trouble. He's building Thors. But remember, they're up against one uh, or plus two armor Thors, which I guess isn't the most important armor. Attack upgrades are way more important. He's going to try and nuke that base. And oh my god. Oh my god, Dem. Well, you're used not wearing headphones, bro. I, I honestly cannot. Oh my god. More and more Thors are massing out here right now. Those SCVs in big trouble. And he's going to keep nuking it, man. This is it. Dem's, Dem's all in. Is, is Florencio's 17th Thor army going to actually make this happen? He's setting up. That tank is going to be big. That tank, yeah, you can't really fight into that. He's bringing some SCVs to repair. He's not building anything else right now. He doesn't have a lot of mining. Flo's building SC... It flows out of money. I think Flo needs to bait him into walking to the planetary like a dumbass. I think that has to be the play, right? I don't think you can go out and beat that, because that's five Thors, a tank, and a battle cruiser, even though the BC is really low. So it's mostly the tank that changes things. Uh oh, the Thor's shooting the planetary. The tank's in the open. Flo dives. He takes the tank out. He takes the battle cruiser out, but he does lose one Thor. He's on three versus five. His Thors are getting stuck by the SCVs. Oh, they walk in range of the planetary, though. They walk in range of the planetary, and he wants to come forward and punish. He wants that red hit point Thor. He takes it out, and he runs. He runs. He's got to get out. The SCVs block his Thors for a moment. I think Dem maybe could have chased a little bit more there. This is still so goddamn close. Oh. Dem, repair your command center and, and drop mules. Dem, 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 Dem. Oh my god, Dem. What are you? No. 
He's rallying SCVs to... No, Dem, what are you... Uh -huh. Okay, this, this, honestly, this, this Terran... I think he's going to... Do you think he compliments Florencio at the end of this game? Or does he call him names? I, I don't know which one he's going to go... Oh, look at that, Cloaked Ghost. He's like, he's actually got scans, so I don't think you can kill too much. This is a 28 kill Cloaked Ghost. He's going to start trying to tickle them. Um... There are five Widow Mines. They're running across the map to make sure there's no mining. <laughs> Forces his skin, runs away. <laughs> oh, man. Um, he's building SCVs, but he doesn't have much gas. And his Widow Mines are going to come in and deny mining. It's four Thors, four Thors versus three. A tank is building now for Florencio, realizing that's going <laughs> to... The ghost gets a, a tiny bit of damage done, but it does go down. Widow Mines fall as well. Flo's trying to bait him in range of that planetary, and he's like, come in, come into the choke point where I can fight with all three versus one. Else. Two versus one, he starts a fight, 2v1. But good micro by Dem, pulls back the weak Thor. And these SCVs, I guess they're trying a long distance mine. Oh, oh, he gets one of Flo's Thors. He's still got four versus just two. He's taking out the SCVs. Dem with the high impact payload micro here. Ooh, the tank gets low. But look at that, Flo sieges the tank. That's important. That tank is going to do big. The planetary, the tank both landing. Big shots. Oh, but Flo chases a bit too far. He loses a Thor. He does take one out, though. He wants one more. Flo here is hungry. Hungry, hungry Thor. And oh, Dim turns a tight corner. Loses one of his last units. He's got plenty of minerals, but nothing else. And with that, Florencio, it feels, dragging this game into the mud, has, has found a way to do it. And look at that, the last Thor. Uh-oh. I'm a Terran player. I need to get repaired. Luckily, those Widow Mines unbarrowed just as he arrived. And uh, he's going to be managed to get out. He's going to try and float that over, but I think he's done, mate. Oh, that Widow Mine just killed the SCV. Is that one of the last ones? Six SCVs still remain. They're all down here. Thor does take that Widow Mine out. Command Center moves up there, but we've got SCVs, Widow Mines all over the map. We've got two ghosts up there. Uh, does he have a new nuke? I'm surprised he's not making a nuke right now. He has two tanks and a Thor. And Flo is just slowly rebuilding that mining, harvesting that base. <laughs> this game is peak NA. I think this one goes beyond NA. This is the upside down of NA. This is the NA you only experience if you take a shortcut to work through the sewers, jump down a manhole and enter the, the upside down, mate. Oh, the widow mine! Thor takes it out. Nice. Are you building a... Okay, this player is actually the stupidest player I've ever met. I, I don't... I'm sorry. What are you doing? You have a, a three factories, four starports and a barracks. You're going to spend some of your only minerals on a barracks right now? Why? What is this guy doing? What is he doing? How can you possibly think this is a good idea? This Terran player has consistently, like, like honestly, there is a thing. It's like a person on a multiple choice question test and they get 90% of the questions wrong. And you're like, how? If you just chose randomly, let's say it's four options, you should get 25%. And they're like, well, I got 9%. You're like, how? You, you're consistently picking the wrong one. Like, it actually... Uh, I don't understand. It's not that fucking hard. Like, anything except building a random fucking barracks to then float up and start marauder... You're building marauders? Why are you building marauders right now? How do you... Do you think marauders counter Thors without any upgrades? Oh my god. I have never seen such an absence of understanding of how StarCraft works. <laughs> the decision making from this Terran player. Oh my god, Florencio. I don't know where you find these people. Honestly, I'm starting to think this Terran was just having a sleep in the sewers and Florencio just woke him up with his a bunch of seaweed sewerage shit thrown on his face. Like, what the hell, man? A barracks. He was trying to do a marauder transition. <laughs> so stupid. 
so stupid. <laughs> We've all made dumb decisions under pressure. I've made so many moron choices. Don't get me wrong, guys. We've all made bad choices. This one was just so many all stitched together in one replay that it, it just defies your expectations and logic. You just assume you'd get one or two of those in a game if it's going bad. But this was like, no, no, no. I'm finding the wrong thing consistently. I don't know how. 138 SCVs went down, six loss. Those 10 battle cruisers, by the way, remember those 10 battle cruisers were on the map for like a solid 15 minutes when Florencio had nothing. Like it was actually insane. Yeah, this is this is that point where it's like, well, you won the game. Chases, that was my this was our first inkling that this Terran might be a bit of an idiot is almost got the killing blow on the production, which basically wins you the game. And look at this. Sees a single tank about to leave the base and is like, can't stand for that. I've got to chase it with me whole army. Like, like what's going to happen if that's, if this tank walks across the map into one of your tanks, Thors, or battle cruisers? Like, that was the first inkling. But then it was like, okay, okay, you've got this one in the bag. Walks into Widow Mines. It's fine. Takes out the turrets. It's still fine. And then, remember what Flo did. He uses two ghosts to completely ruin the Terran, who's already spent the last 10 minutes not rebuilding SCVs or dropping mules. These two ghosts come in and break Dem's brain. And this was basically what Flo did for the rest of the game, is he just kept running ghosts in. And it, it's like, cool, clearly you prioritize killing all this stuff. You just use your tanks and your Thors, lower those, go kill. Don't be sieging your lib. That's just a waste of time. Just bring your Thors and your tank down and go kill it. Instead, we managed to see Dem was like, well, I could run through and just kill every base. Like, there is nothing to stop Dem. Even with a bunch of Reddit point BCs, there's no way a few turrets aren't going to stop that. And what was it that triggered the Yamato? Let's, let's look at that one more time. Was it the Marines? I think it might have been the Marines. Yeah, one teleports home when there's units already there. Finally deals with this ghost with multiple scans. The rest are just chilling. And then this was the best part. Ten marines with stim and nothing else run in. Dem's like, well, I clearly need to teleport my whole army. Flies over the turrets and then flies home. Oh, oh. and then does that multiple times. 66 army supplied, uh, supply to six. Let's just watch on eight times speed and only watch the army supply. That's all I want you guys to watch. <laughs> <laughs> The 38 minute, maro minute Marauder tech switch. I cannot believe it, man. Oh, this is so funny. You just you could see on the minimap just these battle cruisers just flying around like chasing nothing. And he just like he slowly over and over again just lets Florencio's army supply catch back up. And you're like, oh, you managed to even this out. It's actually insane. And then he takes that other amazing fight over here. Finally, after after so many times where he just didn't get it, he's getting nuked. Oh, his battle cruiser is running around. This was such a silly game. Oh my lord! Shout out to Flo, by the way, though. Oh, this ghost here. That ghost was actually the greatest part of this game. I look at it's, <laughs> let's go to Dem's camera, guys. Dem's like, whoa. There's a nuke! Oh no! Scans, sees the ghost, scrolls up, boxes the units, and then move commands to the left. Scrolls down to the right. At any point could have just done an attack move, but is literally just moving around, right-clicking the units. That, did you see that? Literally just clicked the units in a circle. Thank you, Florencio, for sharing that replay. If you guys are a big fan of Florencio, just keep in mind you're probably a terrible human. <sighs> GG, well played, mate. I hope you guys enjoyed this replay. It was truly a unique and beautiful gem. And honestly, once again, Flo's ghost usage out of this world. GG, well played, mate. Thank you very much, guys. Don't forget to check out the Patreon down below, as well as links to Florencio's stream and YouTube. Much love to everybody for the support. See you in the next one. Goodbye and good night.